right what is going on guys today we are watching fate apocrypha episode 11 uh in the last episode uh the kind of main part was uh kind of sieg becoming what seems to be a servant or kind of bringing out his inner secret um he obviously kind of had a vision or a dream of him being in touch with uh fafnir and kind of hearing siegfried and obviously after grabbing his sword and pulling it from the stone in a sort of arthur-esque way um he kind of got the dragon kind of command seal um command spell command seal on his hand and then boom he was he was siegfried form so that was pretty cool uh, and then the the episode ended off with Siegfried going up against Mordred, um, Phantasm in hand as well, and Mordred just for the buff. So yeah, uh, not Phantasm, sorry, Command spell. Yeah, so yeah, uh, really looking forward to this episode, seeing how this fight goes. Um, but yeah, as always, guys, like the video if you like the video, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And let's go into this episode right now. <laughs> I, I still don't get everybody's beef with Jan. Oh, Spartacus is here. Oh, boy. What the fuck did they do to Spartacus? Berserker, what happened to you, boy? What did they do? Oh, and then the, that was the Sabres going head-to-head. -head. Boy. God. Damn. Sound goes crazy. <laughs> this is going to be a good fight for Modred. Oh, this is going to be epic. Oh, we're back to Kana versus Vlad. Okay. Jeez, dude. Connor looks like he hasn't broke a sweat. God, they went nuts with the sound design. God damn. Interesting that they have actually the classes going up against each other. So we've got Saber and Saber, Lancer and Lancer. We have Rider versus Archer, which is obviously different, but it doesn't often happen. What are you trying to say, Connor? <laughs> Bro, he's badass. Oh, is that so? What the fuck? Where did those spikes come from? They came from inside of him. What the fuck? That's wild. Dude. Vlad ain't to be fucked with, bro. Holy shit. Oh, shit. Oh, this boy snap. The animation is snap. Bro, I thought that was going to be like an ultimate move. I didn't even look like a... Again, didn't look like he broke a sweat from that. And he loves the pain. Oh, God. What the hell is that? Wait, what? Crying warmonger. Wait, that's his noble phantasm. Whoa, what the fuck? Okay, that makes sense. But why is he a giant, like, creature? Yeah, definitely seems like it. Spartacus ain't coming out of this alive. I like how we got Shakespeare as a narrator. That's crazy. Well, not like a narrator, more like a commentator, actually. Jan, you gotta bust this dude up, man. Come on. Wait, what? Why'd he let go? I mean, it's it's Sieg in there. This isn't full-on Siegfried. You running out of battery, bro? Oh, shit. Oh, fucking hell. Now she has to deal with Berserker. <laughs> Meat balloon. True. Oh, shit. Isn't that going to make him more powerful, though? How do you kill this thing if he get, just gets more powerful when you hit him? 
yeah, if it's his call and he has to do it. It's his destiny. What is it? Oh, Astolfo is such a goat character. Wow. Awesome, man. I know a lot of the characters in Fate, the personalities are somewhat based on their kind of historical story. Is Astolfo's personality kind of based on the character? Well, the person who he's based off of? Or is this just added in for his character? Because I, I like his personality. Oh, shit. She's bringing out the flag. Is this going to be a noble phantasm? Jesus Christ, Barticus. Luminosity Eternal. What is Berserker? This Berserker is nuts. Oh, that audio. Oh, it's just music to my ears. What is her noble phantasm, though? Is it like a protection, like a defensive phantasm? Or did she just use it on the defensive? <laughs> Leaning on the wound. Lol. Fucking hell. Oh, what? Is there a city? It's too dark to tell. Was there a city there? Fuck, she protected that too? Bro, these servants are kind of busted. Like, most of them. <laughs> Is he using a noble phantasm now? <gasps> Why? Why do you blue ball me like that? I want to see it. Did he get forced to with a command spell or? No. What's going on? What up? What the fuck is this? Is someone going after the masters? Oh, shit. Is she ripping the castle apart? <laughs> Just getting ripped out the windows. Oh, no. Wait, are they trying to steal the Greater Grail? That's certainly what it looks like. Oh, my God. Are you, are you just going to let that happen, bro? You're getting robbed right now. You need to bust out all the noble phantasms. This doctor ain't done shit yet. <laughs> she just got pissed off at Alstolfo. Bro, all the servants are going up. It's like the war is going to be here now. Yeah, but you need the password. <laughs> Yeah, I'd like I'd like that a lot. I'd like to understand why they're fucking I'm fucking with you right now. <laughs> Some lecturing from mom. This whole fortress is actually nutty for a phantasm. Oh son, it's Kana. Damn, that was quick. I thought the battle wasn't gonna be for another ten episodes or so. You know it's been like five minutes, right? They, they speak like it's been about, like, it, it legit, it's been five minutes. I find it inter interesting that this is her noble phantasm, but she can't, like, manipulate it. To the point where, like, she's allowing this to happen. Maybe she could if she wasn't, you know, summoned as an assassin. Oh, shit, Archie's got moves. Would it make a difference for Vlad that he's now, he's still within his home country, but he's not on its soil? Or does that not make a difference? Oh, damn, dude. He's fucking you up right now. <gasps> That's just what I was saying. It's like its own little country. Or maybe not. Oh, it's the bird. Oh, it's a goddamn rock thing. Okay. Ah, uh, so I, I, I was correct then, yeah. He's not on, like, he's not on his soil, so... Even if he's still in the same country, technically. What, the vampire one? Or is it something else? I think someone, someone explained to me that he's just really pissed off that people associate him with Dracula. Fair enough. That noble phantasm. Ooh. Is it I Oh. Why do I feel like it's gonna be something like vampire related or something? 
Or am I just thinking way too much into the vampire part of this? He's going to be pissed at you for doing this, bro. I'm excited to see this, bro. Oh, next episode. All right, so that was Fate Apocrypha episode 11. That was a really freaking good episode. Like, wow, a lot of good shit happened right there. Some good fights, some kind of good mentions of stuff. Um, some good, you know, cute moments, like between Jan, Astolfo, and Sieg and stuff like that. Um, but then, yeah, we're taking the battle to the fortress now, which apparently counts as being outside of um, the kind of domain, which even though they're in the same country, what I was kind of theorizing within the episode there was kind of correct, I think, I guess, to which that he's not technically on the soil of his country. Um, and it's, it may just be because this is red, you know, red team's territory. Uh, but I think it's a bit of both. Obviously, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, no spoilers, of course, but anything, like I say, anything within the episodes, please feel free to let me know. Uh, but yeah, overall, a very good episode. Exciting to see uh, more about Vlad and what his noble phantasm is going to be. He's uh, definitely going to be pissed off for um, obviously being made to use it, but got to do what you got to do. You've been spawned in as a servant. You should be able to use your noble phantasm. But yeah, overall, a very good episode, and I'm definitely looking forward to the next Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did, and I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.